Flipping the bill. LSU fans are paying thousands to enjoy this weekend's matchup against the Florida Gators. And NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore explains why some are in and others are out. Just about everyone on LSU's campus is excited for Saturday's homecoming. A lot of people, a lot of fun. It's Saturday night. I mean, it's LSU football. That's what it's about. It. Along with the big game, a big price tag. Probably a couple thousand between flights and hotel. LSU fan Dean Powell says he has no problem paying the high prices to see the Tigers play. As long as you can afford it, sure, why not? So, okay. I may skip dinner a couple times, you know, when I get home, but it's worth it. Tickets for the game are going for double the amount. Now LSU students are getting aboard the money train. I heard some students are buying their tickets, like the student prices, and they're reselling them for like a lot as well. I would have paid less, but they're going for 100, 150. Prices for hotels and Airbnbs have also skyrocketed. Hotels have been sold out for months, um, you know, coming up to this event, so people have the opportunity to rent out their apartments and, you know, basically. It's a necessity at this point. As the clock counts down to Saturday's big game, LSU fans are shelling out big bucks to be in attendance, but not all Tiger fans are giving it to that height. I don't really blame anybody for wanting to come and watch the game, but I don't know if I'd pay that much to come stay in Baton Rouge. For this game, if that was me traveling, I wouldn't pay that much. Though some just don't see themselves paying the big bucks. Because my rent a month is not even that much. Others say they simply can't put a price tag on their happiness. Have you been in that stadium? <laughs> Have you been around these fans? It's insane. Experience it and then tell me it's ridiculous.